My name is Laura Oswell. I'm a partner in the Palo Alto office of Sullivan and Cromwell. Today's conference is the continuation of a series that our partner Sharon Nellis started a couple of years ago to bring together women in the legal profession to talk about issues that affect us as we develop through our careers. Um, and today the aspect that we took on was teams and leadership. Um, and we did it in kind of a different way as far as these things go. We did it from kind of an analytical perspective and looking kind of outside the traditional legal field um, to the legal department at Google who was implementing a project that Google had instituted company-wide focused on the analytical study of leadership and effective teams. And then also with guests from McKinsey who had done a similar analytical study about leadership that in its origination had been focused on women but turned out to be generally applicable and now is something that they teach worldwide. The interesting thing that I think has come out of these studies is that for all the analytics in the world, it really comes down still to soft skills. Um, and in the case of Google, that has to do with kind of the psychology and psychological health, health of your team. And in McKinsey, centered leadership, which is really about personal well-being and kind of sourcing your energy, focusing on your strengths, things that when you think about analytics are not kind of the top subjects that come to mind. This is an extremely challenging area because it has everything to do with hundreds of individual people who bring to the table their personality types, their preferences, their experience, both career and kind of life experience. Um, and the task here is really how do you blend all of those things and how do you integrate them in a way that helps you know, a culture work effectively down to the kind of the team unit. Um, but it's really made up of, up of a, a bunch of different individuals and how you manage those. And certainly from the legal perspective and being at a firm um, where we work in teams all the time, it has very concrete lessons about how you can help make your teams more effective and help train uh, younger, uh, younger lawyers to be able to do that as they kind of grow up through the profession. I, mean, I appreciated some of the frankness that we heard from the panelists about the challenges that they face and also differing uh, views. I think what you see here and kind of the overall theme that I take that I don't find surprising but which I do think is great to hear reinforced through all this work is that being yourself is often the best way to be an effective leader and so we heard a variety of views on things like work-life balance and how to manage time challenges and how to bring your best self to your team um, and it's all very individualized and i'd like to thank everyone for coming today i think it was a great experience that was greatly enhanced by the wide variety of perspectives that we had in the room from both our speakers and the guests